Hey Gemini, it's Kay with Good Karma Tarot. This is going to be your reading. Sorry, I'm getting comfortable for July 2021. So yeah, I've been in a reading coma for like the last day and a half. And randomly Spirit was like, hey, do the Gemini video. So spontaneous video time. It's like 11 or midnight right now, I think. Time went by so fast. Hopefully you guys can hear me. These are my earbuds. I'll put them in just in case. Okay. And we got through Gym Ryan, July 2021. I just heard breathe, breathe. Some of you might be getting into meditation or you're just going through like a really difficult situation. Interesting, we have inner trust here. Very beautiful card. Then we have this card. Um, looks like a bunch of bees that are on her. It's interesting. I always connect, like, as far as the bee spirit animal, I connect these to work. Maybe you're working on something or you're deciding to go down your own path and it's calling you to have trust in yourself and what you're doing. But I feel like you're working really hard on something to bring more prosperity and abundance into your life, but it feels aligned to your soul as well. We have for the recent past for Gemini. Recent past. Oh, that slammed down. Yeah. That's funny because I was just talking about work and we got accelerated motion. And then we got the base chakra, which isn't just about work, it's about the material realm and in general, but I'm totally getting work vibes from your reading. Let's get one more card for the recent past. It's gonna be hard to see it on there. Yeah, again, you get the high priestess intuition, which correlates with the inner trust card there. Okay. So it feels like in the recent past, sorry, they were pointing out that this is a number one card and this is a number eight card. Heavy career vibes here. It's like a new beginning in your career. Okay, so for the recent past, it's kind of an energy where something happens within your workplace. Like the vibe that I'm getting, excuse me, it's on my lip. Anyways, the vibe that I'm getting is, like, I'm actually getting more of, like, a tower moment kind of energy with your workplace. Like, something unexpectedly happened. Um, for all of you, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but something kind of shook up your world. In a sense, like, as far as your career and workplace goes. But I feel like it's kind of pushed you into a completely different direction. So maybe you're starting your own business or you're starting a career that you feel intuitively guided to start. This feels very aligned with your soul's blueprint. Let's keep going, see what this is about. I'm very intrigued. 
But it's kind of like with the High Priestess and the Inner Trust, it's kind of like you got a call from the universe and then we got Chariot card on the bottom. Yeah, it's like you were called to do something. But I'm getting a lot of fear around whatever this is. Way too many cards. But it's kind of like you're hearing the call of the universe. It's the energy that I'm getting. And then we got the star card with hope. It's for your present position. Heartache and loss. Sorry about the light. Okay, so currently you're going through major healing. We do have the Four of Wands at the bottom. Um, so for some of you, this could be career. Um, like, maybe you lost your job or something, and that was like the shake-up energy that I was sensing before. So you're going through like this healing period. And if it isn't love, this can definitely be like trauma-related. Um, it could be divorce. It could be really be about anything apply it how it resonates with you but you're definitely going through major healing of some kind but with the heartache and loss i definitely feel this is the shake-up energy that i was feeling but it's really beautiful with the hope card here because this signifies that you are healing from a situation so you could have recently lost someone that had passed away specifically I'm hearing like a family member or this could be like a friend somebody you were really close with but yeah I'm also getting the message though that this could have been something that had happened in your past where there was a major loss and with this hope being here because like I almost feel like this is meant to go first and then it goes like that like you're expanding into hope and you're opening yourself with the palms up you're opening yourself up to receiving like this light energy, this healing. Um, it kind of reminds me of the sun. And if you look like really closely, oh, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but there's a person in there and I'm kind of seeing that as you. So it's like whatever this heartache and loss was, it's kind of like it cracked you open so that you were able to receive this light energy here. Because I'm seeing you as the person that's in the middle of this light energy. If you're not feeling it yet, I feel like you're getting ready to expand into this energy. It's kind of like you're getting ready to embody the light. You should check out the collective messages uh, reading for last week because it had a lot to do with that. I believe the first message that I got, the first thing that I had had heard was downloading the light and it had a lot to do with something like this so that might resonate for you but I feel like you're getting ready to embody like this energy of positivity of um I'm, I'm actually specifically hearing like a light activation there's something going on spiritually here and then we do have the base chakra in your recent past so it could have been like something was causing you to maybe feel unsafe or like you weren't feeling stable in a situation but things started to pick up and then with the high priest it's it's like you have a new understanding of whatever this heartache and loss was whatever this heartbreaking experience was for you and it's like through this enlightenment through this experience you're gaining an entirely different perspective and it's helping you to embody this light or to receive this healing from the universe. For some of you, this could have had to do with like a marriage, um, broken engagement, um, really anything. Like I said earlier, cause this is the four of wands, I believe. So it's kind of an energy where I'm not going to take that because it was on the bottom of the deck. but. It's kind of like the rainbow after a thunderstorm, you know? So if you're still in this energy of heartache and loss, I do feel this is going to lift for you soon. And the biggest message I'm getting here is to really focus on your own 
inner security and stability because for some of you this can be external like a career or a job um, especially with the the spirit animal here but i feel this is also about your energy within as well yeah before I continue shuffling we have the shadow card here yeah so it's kind of like you're having to face your shadow and it's kind of like i'm actually seeing this more as like a truce which is very interesting it's kind of like um i'm just getting this duality about you like this is your light body and this is your shadow body and it's kind of like the two of you merging together and you're transmuting this energy to embody this light energy here What else do we have for the present moment for Gemini? Yeah, that's exactly what I was feeling. We have the Ace of Wands, Passion Ignited. So this is all about a heart awakening. That's what this is. So if this heartbreaking experience would have never happened for you, the, you wouldn't have... Um, cleared out that residual shadow energy that was ling lingering within your heart space and you wouldn't be able to embody this light. So whatever this was for you, it's saying that it was destined to happen and it was meant to really open you up and to really take a look at your shadow side and to transmute that energy or at least come into acceptance of that part of yourself. So yeah, with the green heart here and then it being on fire, it's kind of like you getting your passion back for life. And the circle really makes me think of you closing out a cycle and then you have a new beginning coming in. It's like you have a renewed, a renewed um, sense of passion. And intuitively you know this, you're a very intuitive person. And then we have the five of the cups at the bottom of the deck with emotional loss, yeah. And spirals to me represent um, kind of like going downhill. So it was like this heartbreaking experience happened and you really felt like you took several steps backwards. But it was all for good purpose. It was to help enlighten you and help you to understand yourself on such a deeper level and to really clear out that energy so that you could embody this light. Future position for Gemini. It's a powerful new beginning here for you. And again, for a lot of you, I definitely feel that it's for your career. It's like you're getting your passion back. Like you intuitively know what you want to do with your career. And I feel like you're going after it. For others, it can most definitely be about love. We'll see. But I just got a glimpse of that bottom of the deck. We have trapped in fear. So maybe whatever this was, you were completely trapped in fear. You were stuck in a um, karmic cycle that was repetitive for you you kind of just kept going around and around and the universe removed something from your life or allowed you to go through this heartbreaking experience so that you wouldn't stay in this place stay in like this mental prison that you were in and with spiritual strength being in reverse it's kind of like yeah something destroyed your confidence for sure you definitely felt like you had lost your strength, even spiritually, and it just puts you in this place of being trapped in fear. It's like you were a prisoner of whatever this situation was. You never really thought you were going to get through it. You never thought you were really going to be happy again. You never thought you were going to see the light again, see the sun again. But now it's kind of like your entire perspective is getting ready to shift if it hasn't already. So we have the waiting game. This is for your future position. Yeah. 
And then discontent and boredom. It's interesting because in this picture, hold on, all right, let's back up. It's kind of like you were waiting for something to happen, right? Like you were waiting for things to change or to shift. And it was kind of keeping you in that place. I don't have the card out, but that place trapped in fear and in um, kind of like a prison like we were talking about before. So it's kind of like maybe like some of you were waiting for somebody or something to like kind of like come save you, something like that. There is that kind of energy there. But it's like you realize that wasn't making you happy. But at the same time, like it's interesting because he's facing the shadows in this card and you see the light out here. So it's almost like you have to like turn around to see the light but you were so focused on the shadow here and he's looking down. It's like kind of like you were refusing to see the light in a situation, seeing that higher perspective. But yeah, I, I do feel that something that has shifted for you because we do have, that's the strength card of power so it's like even though you sat in this place for a while and you kind of just waited in this place i feel that you gathered up the courage to call your power back to you it's kind of like you remembered who you are deep down and you found this courage and this confidence within yourself again and again with that karmic cycle and i feel like this has closed out or is getting ready to close out in your future this karmic cycle that you've been trapped in because we have the universe i knew i was feeling the tower guys tower energy and there it is all right we're gonna keep that and go a little deeper with that i got excited okay so you called your power you're getting ready to call your power back to you and get your confidence back after a time where your confidence was destroyed with kind of like that tower moment but this feels like this is more in the future position like something unexpected is coming your way so we'll see what that's about but there was definitely with this heartache and loss there was something that had already happened that was kind of like a tower moment so we'll see what that is. But this is you wrapping up a cycle. This is you discovering your power within and really stepping back into your power. But it's kind of like, um, I feel like I'm connecting to a Gemini that has seen, you've seen your power before, but you're getting ready to, it feels like much greater than you've experienced. Um, because now like they're like with this car they're like giving me a vision like of like I'm seeing a human body and I'm taking it as you Gemini and there's all these stars the universe the planets the sun like all exist within you and I feel like that's the message there is like you have all this beauty within you that you've been ignoring because of whatever this heartache and loss was but it's like you finally give yourself closure for something something yeah you're definitely giving yourself closure for something and you're giving yourself permission to heal and because of this it's like you're getting your power back you're getting your confidence back and there's this passion being ignited within you again and it's manifesting a new beginning in your life Okay, so let's see what this tower is for the future. We've already talked about what that was in the past. So we have stand your ground. There's, okay, I do have to say it. I have to say it. This isn't for everybody watching this. But the very first thing I heard when I got this card or when this card came out was um, boundaries. But it's kind of like 
some of you are being a little too defensive is a message I'm getting for some of you. And there's others of you that need to establish boundaries in a healthier way. So having that balance there is definitely important. We do have the throat chakra at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So I feel like there's something, there's either a truth being revealed to you or there's something you have to say and you might need to stand up for whatever it is that you want. Yeah, but you're in your head about it with the Five of Swords here. There's a lot of mental conflict. So let's keep going. What is this? What does Gemini need to speak their truth about? I just heard a little too late. Is it too late? So I knew you were getting your confidence back because we have the solar plexus chakra. I knew you were getting your confidence back. And it's like now that you're getting this back, you're realizing there's something that you want to fight for. If you are opening up your own business, I feel like you're fighting for um, what you deserve, you know, prosperity and abundance, but it feels much bigger than that. Like it's not necessarily about the money. And I feel like that's where this passion ignited comes in as well. There's something you're very passionate about that you're fighting for or getting ready to fight for and speak your truth about because there's something that makes you really happy because we do have wishes fulfilled and it did come out in the reverse, but it feels like it belongs upright. It just feels right upright. We do have water here. You have a lot of emotions for something, whether it's your career or this resonates in any other aspect of your life. There's like a hidden treasure that you're finding. Now this does feel like it's within, but it also feels like there's something you're bringing into your reality. You guys have a very interesting reading. I see why they wanted me to stop reading for this. <laughs> what is this? Um, oh. Okay. What is that thing? Okay. I get what's going on. I got freaked out for a second, but this is good. Okay. So we have material harvest that came out and I was asking about this wish fulfillment card here, whatever it is that you're going after, this um, wish you're manifesting in your life and it's something you're wanting to bring into your physical reality with the material harvest and I do see you getting this and you have this awareness. And again, with the light download, you see that light? Like, this just seems to be a continuous thing for you. Please watch the weekly reading. It feels destined for you guys. So the next thing that came out is this feels more related to the past. So I do have to say that we have the devil energy with temptation. This is Capricorn energy. So this could have to do with a Capricorn. Or this can be like even your shadow. And you know what's interesting? Is this light right here. It looks like a key and it's blue and he's like reaching towards it. And you have the throat chakra that came out needing to speak your truth. But there was like something stopping you. It's kind of like two different people living with it. Well, you're a Gemini. You can't help it. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways. 
Yeah, it was like two different people living within you, aside from the fact that you're a Gemini and you're naturally a twin. Um, but it was kind of like something was so, I mean, you were self-sabotaging yourself. We got to hold ourselves accountable. But that's the energy I'm getting. Like, And if it's not self-sabotage, this is just a really toxic job or toxic relationship that you were in and you felt like you couldn't speak your truth. Something like that. And then we have the sacral chakra come out with this. So this could have been an abusive relationship, um, verbal, sexual, physical, whatever it is. But I am getting heavy abuse energy here and it wasn't healthy for you so that could be related to this heartache and loss maybe you lost this and at first you didn't realize how toxic it was or how unhealthy it was for you or even that it was abusive but something happened to really change your perspective on things And then at the bottom of the deck, we have spiritual union, but it doesn't feel related to whatever this toxic energy was. And this is one of two things. For one, very first thing, this is you coming into union with yourself, your masculine and feminine energies coming into union, coming back into alignment, coming back home to yourself. That seems to be a frequent message lately. But also, this is like a spiritual union with either you and a lover, or this is you realizing what your life purpose is or what you want to do with your life. But it seems to involve somebody else. And then we have emotional withdrawal. Why do we have emotional withdrawal? Hold on, guys. Mm. Okay. That makes sense. So we have suffering and silence, but it's in reverse. Hmm. So did you kind of go into hermit mode, take some time to yourself? Because that's the energy I'm getting here. It's like you emotionally withdrawed from society or from a job, um, a person, because you were trapped in this continuous cycle and you were really suffering, but I feel that you've really gone within to understand this. And with this suffering and silence being in reverse, it's like that's when you realize you need to speak up about something. There's something here with this throat chakra about expressing opposed to emotionally withdrawing, which is very unusual because Gemini's, you're very... Um, very commutative, you're notorious for that. It's gonna be a long video. Wow. Okay, so then we have partnerships and alliances. So again with this, oh, and then we have the Empress card. And again with the Heart Shock. You're going through a massive heart awakening, Gemini. I'm telling you, there's there's somebody else involved in this. But I am getting life purpose vibes too, it's crazy. Maybe you're getting ready to partner up with somebody in business. Or you're getting ready to give birth to a new version of yourself. Or this can be connected to an empress really depends on your situation. This can go so many ways. I could do this all night. But 
We also have a Temperance card here, the card of Sagittarius. So you've been really patient. You've been kind of like she has a little seed in her hand. And it's like you've been really patient. You've been patiently growing this seed. Something like that. And you've been waiting for this seed to grow. And it has a lot to do with this heart awakening energy. It's like you're waking up to something. You have to find love within you. For some of you, you could be expecting or meeting the love of your life, something like that. There's something beautiful about this. There's strong, like, pregnancy vibes here because they just keep showing me a pregnant woman, which this card can symbolize that, but you don't physically have to be pregnant. This can be more, this feels more spiritual, more of a spiritual birth. Oh, yes. And we got Rejoice and Celebration. So you're definitely going to be celebrating something big after giving birth to something that you've been working on. This is calling your power back to you, and you're going to be celebrating. Oh, I love this reading so much. And then we have Destiny, yes. This is you wrapping up this cycle once and for all. And you're going after something that you really want while also experiencing a major heart awakening. And this is your destiny. Whatever this is you're going after, you know it's your destiny. Like, if this connects with you and you're still here, you know this is your destiny. And then guess what? We got trapped in fear in reverse. And spiritual strength back up, right? So this is you taking yourself out of that prison and finding that strength within you again, finding your faith again. That's really beautiful. And then we got prosperity begins. This is a new beginning. Not only is this new beginning passionate, but it's stable, it's safe for you. This is immensely beautiful. All right, Gemini, I'm gonna stop it there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what I do here, please like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate you. See you next time.